Hi everyone, it's Andrew McDonald here. I'm one of the co-founders of The Rookies. This video is going to be a walkthrough of how to create an entry. We've, had, we've got other videos there that really walk through and explain everything about the categories and you know advice from myself and Alan, the other co-founder, that really explain how to, what the judges are looking for and maybe some tips and tricks. Definitely go check that video out. But this video right here is hopefully just going to walk you through from start to finish how to create an entry and explain this sort of this online contest platform so when you actually arrive at the contest page for rookie awards you will be welcome with a you know obviously a nice big header here but one important thing to look for is actually this yellow nav bar this is everywhere through this contest platform and specifically with the rookie awards 2020 you'll easily be able to access all the main information here as you can see so you can quickly access rules prizes check out any of the entries that are coming through and you know obviously the other things with uh, judges and sponsors and awards so as we scroll down on this main page we're sort of explaining what this contest is who it's for um, as we've gone through before, we're trying to find the best, you know, sort of aspiring artists from around the world in all these different creative industries. This is specifically a contest to students, self-taught artists, hobbyists, the people with a, a passion for this digital media and that are, whether they're just starting out or they're sort of at the more serious end of this contest who are looking to launch their careers and hopefully land an internship or get seen by a studio and and get their work out there so there's a bit of everything in there um, for sort of students and self self-taught artists but we do draw the line at professional artists that have had more than 12 months experience this is obviously going to put you at an unfair advantage to the contestants or the entrants that we're actually sort of targeting so when you come, definitely have a look through this contest overview. There's some great links to other videos. You can check out um, some of the other entries from last year, which might give you a bit of inspiration, success stories, and pretty much everything you need just to get your sort of head in the game here. So the simplest way um, to go through and enter, it can be broken down just a couple of simple steps. Firstly, we want you to read the read the rules like there's a few nitty gritty things in there, but nothing too full on. So please just go have a look, make sure you're eligible. That really is the most important thing. And look, it explains everything else you need to know. The next step is you've got to select a category. Now, the categories, there's a lot of them um, and there's a lot of category groups. So this is kind of an important step that you need to just sort of come and um, have a look at before you start uploading work and sort of getting ahead of yourself. And then obviously the next step is to create an entry. So look, we're gonna say we've read the rules. We're gonna go through and select a category. You can click on this to push you down a bit further, but we'll just start scrolling. So you can see here on the page, these are all the different categories. So there's quite a lot of them, but you'll see they're broken into groups to make it easy. So we've got a rookie of the year group. And this is predominantly where majority of people will enter. We're actually looking for rookie of the year for each of these categories. And these categories are based on industries. So if you wanna learn more about really what we're looking for there, there's other videos on that. We're not gonna go into too much detail here, but this really is where you're gonna, you know, sort of pick your category. There are gonna be people that might submit multiple uh, multiple entries. They might submit one to Rookie of the Year. You might even submit a team-based project into Film of the Year, or if you've even done your own film, you can submit it into any of these Film of the Year categories. Same as Game of the Year, we've got three categories here that are open to both individuals and teams. So it's up to you whether you just create one entry and put it into Rookie of the Year to show what you did but ideally for game of the year, if you've been a team, we want to just one of those team members to come and create an entry, showcase what you've done and really run the, like showcase it to the, to the judges so we can see how amazing it is. There's a studio internship category. This is completely elective. You don't have to enter any of these, but you can see by some of the studio names here, this is a huge opportunity to get a chance to work at some pretty spectacular uh, companies around the world. So obviously they've all got each of these categories everywhere on this page has their own individual brief that you can click on to find 
please make sure you read those to, to once again, make sure you're eligible and know exactly what's going on. The last contest group we've got is specialty. This one's open to really um, the younger, what we're calling young guns. These are the people probably a younger age, maybe between 13 and 18, who maybe aren't even thinking about an industry yet, but are really just passionate about visual effects and games and whatever it is, they like creating things. So throw your entry in there. So what we're gonna go and do is walk you through and create an entry. So I'm putting myself uh, as an artist thinking, you know what, I love concept art, I love it for games, I might even think about it for visual effects, but at the, the core of it, I'm a concept artist. So that's the, the category that I want to enter. So I've clicked on the concept, uh, the concept art category and I'm presented with a brief. So this brief actually explains what the judges are looking for. It explains, you know, give you a few notes on what you should be sharing and what you should do. Um, some of the deliveries, judging criteria. So once again, here's how to enter. Read the rules. Everyone seems to skip it, but just check it out and then create it, create an entry using the button below. Okay, so let's create an entry. Um, before we go through and do this, definitely go check out. I've got another video on this that really walks you through how to push this page builder um, to the next level. There's a lot of things you can actually add in here. So have a bit of a play around with it, with um, building a project maybe before you come and create your entry. It is pretty straightforward, but re we really wanna see people get creative with this. There's a lot of options that you can do with your images and videos and that. So yeah, definitely check out what other people have been doing and use that as inspiration. So we're just gonna quickly go through. I've got some um, work from Quinton Massolier. He was an entrant last year and he's got a great portfolio on the rookies. Uh, so I've just sort of grabbed a bit of his work. So look, this is going through and just creating an entry. So we can come and add some basic text and stylize that how we want. We can drop in images here. So I'm just gonna drag an image across. We can set this to be narrow or full width. Basically making narrow like this is gonna make sure that everyone can see your full image, uh, irrespective of what screen size they are. So basically just make sure that 100% of their, their screen height will make people um, be able to see this full image. Um, you can also go full width, which will give those sort of really nice big images that people may have to scroll to, but really give the, the full, the full uh, sort of aspect of it. A great one that I recommend people share, uh, use is the process view. There's some really interesting ways people are using this, but essentially you can actually just drop your images on here and you can actually order them. So uh, you can show a comparison. So we've done that. We can now, it'll load in the image and you can now see we can drag between the two and you can do up to five of these images, which is really cool way to, to share. So we might just add in a little bit more text about that one and look, I don't think we're gonna worry about a, another um, video, but maybe just a quick, uh, what else have we got? We can drop these guys in here. A little side by side, and we're gonna make that full screen. So we've got a bit of everything. So any of these you can actually set different sizes. So look, once you're happy and you've kind of gone through and created and shared your work, please make sure to, to really include descriptions, explain what you did, take a bit of time to, to really um, pitch yourself to the judges, you know, explain what you sort of, the thought process, maybe what the brief was, how you came about it, maybe some of the hurdles you hit, maybe what you'd do differently next time. It's, we do, the last thing we wanna see is just, you know, a great image, but with no explanation. We, we really need you to show your understanding and, your creative journey. So once you're actually finished that step, now we're gonna go and select where we want this entered. As I said, there's a lot of, oh, actually, no, we're not. We're gonna come through and we're gonna do our details. So this one is where you can sort of, um, how people are gonna see your work. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna add a featured image here. This, um, you can actually crop in and do whatever you need to do. But this image here is actually used as your project thumbnail. And you can also 
decide to use this as a cover image at the top of your page. So we want to do that. So it's just a nice way to sort of present the page a little bit, um, you know, with a, a great sort of header. Uh, we're going to put a, you know, little title here. Um, we're going to go in and put our description. Once again, maybe just explain a little bit about your entry that, hey, I'm doing some concept artwork and this is what I'm interested in. This is where I'm, I'm trying to go. Um, just once again, just really explain who you are. So you can go through, add uh, a few tags for software. This is a great way for people to find your work. So um, I advise people to really go and um, tag, use the tags, because the more tags you use, the more people are gonna find you using the search engine and you know, it just helps you get out there. So once again, you can go through and you know, add a few other tags for you know, whatever it is that you've uh, gone through and created. If you are, are part of a team, you can actually tag team members. Um, this really probably is, well, this should only ever be for film of the year and game of the year categories. You can tag those members and they will be um, credited with the entry. But obviously if you're just going into rookie of the year, we're looking for an individual. So you're not gonna tag a team member. Uh, please use um, this adult content tag. If you've got any new nudity or anything else that you know, the public might not be prepared for, you know what it is and, you know, just go through and flag that. It doesn't change anything about the visibility of your entry. It just, it's giving a bit of a warning. Okay, so at any point you actually can, once you've gone through and up to step two, you can say this is a draft. You might be like, you know what, oh, I need to step away or hang on, I might've wanted to change that image or whatever the reason is. You can now save as a draft. And that means that you can come back later and pick up where you left off, which is a great option if you've made a mistake or whatever it is. Um, we're good to go in this case, so we're just gonna continue. So what we're doing with this page, it's quite an important page, and you'll probably see that it reflects the category grouping and category structure that was laid out on the, the first page. So what we're asking you to do is select the contests you wanna submit that page and that entry detail page into. So we wanted to enter concept art. You can easily link back off and just find the information again about what that is, but we're entering concept art. You can start clicking through any of these. There are limitations, but obviously we don't want people to just click through. You'll find that you'll hit a limit. Um, so don't get you know trigger happy here and just select everything. Really just think hard about you know what, I just want one really good entry into concept art. Um, you might, uh, you know, at some point, like if you're looking for a studio internship, you might want to come through and say, you know what, I am looking for um, an internship at Weta Digital and I've read the rules and I'm, I'm really pushing hard to actually get that studio internship so you can come down and select one of these. Once again, don't just go come and click everything. Like there are rules and regulations for who can enter where and what, just make sure you're checking it. So we've selected those and we're happy. Once again, you could save as draft, but we're gonna continue. So at this point, all we're doing is verifying your eligibility. So if you come through here, uh, general contest rules, you're basically saying you agree to the contest rules, which you already checked out, you read and you're happy with. Uh, there's specific rules for each of the contests um, you've actually selected previously. So this concept art rule is no team entries allowed and no professional work um, is here. So that's cool. If you suddenly realize, oh, I'm not eligible, you can remove yourself from the contest. Then when we look at the weather digital rules, you can, you know, we, you must be uh, legally allowed to work in New Zealand. Well, hang on, that's not me. Um, you can actually remove yourself from that contest. Uh, so definitely got to check these boxes here. You acknowledge you are able to enter this and you're also acknowledging, this is an important one, all submissions are final. If you click here and click here, your entry is done. It's submitted, it's sent to the judges and everything starts. There is no going back. This is like an email, this is like, Anything else that once you submit, it's in. So the last thing we want you to do is submit and then realize, oh, geez, I've made a mistake or I, I changed my mind, I'm not sure. Don't hit this. What you can do is come over and save your draft. 
that's the best approach for you before you're sort of really committed to what you have created and what you're going to share. So we're happy with where we're at. So we're going to submit an entry. That's going to go through. Everything's submitted. Your entry was submitted to the following contest, Rookie, of the, Rookie Awards 2020 concept art. So you can go check out your entry. It's probably the first thing you want to do. So you can see here, this is your you know, nice um, header image, uh, your test entry, title, the description. So this is your page. You can see what you've actually created here. You've got your nice process view in here um, to, to show people. You've got a nice side-by-side -side full width and you're good to go. So at any point, you can actually make minor tweaks to your entries. You can't change content, but you can change maybe your tags, maybe your title, maybe your description, even your cover image. That can be done at any point. Um, but you still have to then just go through and just run through. These are things that you actually can change. So once again, we're just going to confirm everything and we're going to update our details because maybe I change contests or whatever it is. And then we're good to go. And then back to the contest, you'll probably find it's the first entry good to go. So anyone could find your entry right here. Um, yeah. So hopefully that's given you a good idea of how to enter the rookie awards um, look as i said if there's any um, questions if you've got any concerns about what to do which category just anything please use the chat system here or please use our discord channel and chat with some of the other entrants and look we can't wait to actually see all your amazing work and yeah Look forward to kicking things off shortly and seeing what you guys come up with. Thanks for your time.